What's up guys? My name is Medic and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make that scope effect from the beginning of this video. Now before we start, please like and subscribe. This is a new channel and I need all the support I can get. Thanks. So first thing you guys want to do is open up After Effects and import your clip. This is the clip I'm going to be using. Now just drag it in to a composition and your whole clip should be here. You want to go, to, to start the scope effect, you want to go to the first frame of the scope which is right here and uh, make sure that the clip is clicked hold control shift D and that should split the clip if not you can go to a f uh, edit uh, split layer now what you want to do is you want to go to the last frame of the scope which is here this would be the best and control shift D again make sure this top one is clicked and now you have three clips that are split and what you want to do for the top one, bring it down. So now you have this top clip, which is only the scope. And if you want to be organized, you can just rename it scope. And you can remember like that. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go to layer, new, solid. And that should make a solid. Make sure it's black, width, 1280, same size as your composition. Then you want to drag that black scope, black solid, under the scope. Go to the beginning of the scope clip. Make sure the solid's clicked and hold alt begin bracket go to, go to the end and then you want to hold alt and bracket now that should make the black solid the same size as your scope and um, next thing you want to do is you want to go to the clips tool just select and hold and click on the clips tool and you just want to make a circle whoops make sure you have the scope selected so this way you can make a mask now you want to drag to the top and make sure you hold shift to make a perfect circle and that's about good it doesn't have to be perfect because you can fix it later now just grab the top and put it over to the to them to the scope and now to fix it you can just hold shift double click the one of the squares hold shift and then start bringing it in and if you hold shift that way it'll make it just go either up or down or left and right so it's just perfect now uh, what we have here is we have the the guy zooming in and now it's just the scope with the black solid and then he's out now the best part about this is that you can literally add anything under it like um let's see if this will work Oops. let's undo that like let's say you do something like this you can just put something between the scope and the black solid and it will be behind the scope like for instance you can do particles or stuff like that just to add more to the effects I can do something with a shockwave so now let's just hit the center right here and then we go to I think ring size no radius yeah there we go so now we'll just keep that there and then as you see it's there and you can just mess around with stuff like this and it will actually come out of the scope and that's something you can do with the black salad being under so um once you have this if you wanted to zoom in you pretty much just have to go to scope press s to open up scale and if you mess with the scale you can see that it moves up and down so uh, just go to the beginning of the, um, the scope clip and keyframe it to 100 Go second two fourths of the way, keyframe it to like 45. Uh, it's pretty much up to what you like, and then three fourths of the way, keyframe it again 45, and then go to the end and keyframe it to 100. Now what you have left is four keyframes, and just make sure you easy ease to make it more smoother. And now if we ram preview this, it should do that. Now if you wanted to spin like it did in the beginning of the video. All you have to do is add rotation. You just keyframe it there, go to the end, put a one here, and that will make it spin. But if you want to do the way I did it, move the keyframe two fourths of the way, change it to uh, about 50, go three fourths of the way again, keyframe again 50, and then go back to 100. And if we look at this now, it should look like it was whoops I forgot to take out the one if I can jump to it okay 
what happened here? But oh, I put a hundred. My bad. Put zero. So now, if you look, it does it how it did in the beginning of the video. Um, thanks for watching. This was a quick and short tutorial. It's a really easy effect, and it's really smooth and great to add to your to your edits and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. This is a new channel, and I'm trying to grow it, and I want to see how far we get. Thanks for watching. Peace out.